Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here in Halls of Torment now. I've got a really fun swordsman build for you here for the high torment levels. Now, we're going to do something interesting here. We're going to use these spike boots with the echoing band. So if you're unfamiliar, this echoing band on hit with physical damage, 20% chance to spawn a shockwave, dealing 40% of the original damage in a radius, and it scales with area. His spike boots when hit drops spikes, deal 100 damage, and uh, also drops spike when moving. So these things are actually going to be able to proc the echoing bands. This is an interesting combination. Uh, now what I've done here is gone for Defiant, Defiant Plate Reactive. This thing also has a physical blast. So this can also proc our echoing band. The damage is based on our defense. So we do want to get some defensive stuff going during the run as well. Uh, we have the Bloodstain Wrapping on for healing here. We're going to use this for healing. So this thing charges when we deal damage. And then when we take damage, it'll heal us based on the charges. So uh, We're also we're going to go the Blood Catcher for this one because I just want extra healing on the build. You know, this, this is a build that we're going to put up against the higher Torment levels. So if you're uh, earlier on the, in the game or if you're farming lower Torment levels, you can switch this out. If you really don't want to use the Blood Catcher, that's fine. But now that they've nerfed it, it, it's, you know, there are some other items you can use. We are going to use the mark of the arrow. So I'm going to go into crit for this one. We're going to take crit damage over here. Uh, we've gone, that's because we've gone for some yes, crit chance over here. So 50 damage and then we're just going crit chance and uh, crit bonus here. So Please. I want to scale up our damage as much as we can in here. So we are going to go into torment 22 for this one. And we'll see how we go. So, this can be pretty difficult still because high torment levels are still pretty tough. So, what we're going to do is take all physical stuff. I'm going to start with the needles because it has a really high rate of fire. It's going to really, really help us out. Is our main attack not on? Hold on. It appears as though our auto attack is off, which is not ideal. Let's put it on. Okay, so let's go into the damage stat straight away. Let's go crit chance. So we are going to have a decent amount of healing from our items. So we're going to go into damage here mostly. Area is really good too, so we like the area scaling. Now we, we like the uh, defense and stuff there too, but early on I'm going to take damage stats. We can take move speed too to help out and get around, but... Uh, let's get more attack speed. Get out of that. Okay, so early on, uh, this the band and uh, our other item is going to be giving us uh, a lot of the damage. So we could take uh, regen defense is probably what we want out of here the most, I'd say. Base move speed is also really nice. We don't mind taking a little bit extra move speed. We could just take the uh, quick hands too while we're here. Uh, we also don't mind taking the uh, pickup range. I don't mind uh, picking that up just to make collecting all the XP a bit easier. It's not going to be our priority though. Our health. Uh, no, what do we want? Do a regen and defense? We said, yeah, I think so. Let's take it. We will take Thick Hide here as well, which is the other defense one. Let's take the extra move speed here too. Whoop, so we can try and survive. Okay. Not a bad start here. Uh, let's see. Range. What do we want in the weapon provision? We want damage and crit, really. Um, we could take block here, or maybe we roll and see what else we can get. Proficient stance. What do we want out of here? The melee stuff? Or maybe the main weapon stuff? Not all of our attacks are going to be melee at the end of the day. We could also take metabolism. We are going to want to take metabolism, uh, metabolism along the way. So we'll just grab the first level there now. Okay, area. Multi-strike also really good. Maybe we take multi-strike here. It is main weapon, but we don't mind multi-strike, I think. Could also just take more metabolism, more area. Let's go area. Eh, why not? Scale up the area of our uh, explosions there. Melee range is also an interesting choice there. I'm actually not really too sure. Let's just go multi-strike. Nice safe choice there. 
Okay, let's go attack speed. We could also go crit chance. Let's get our needles leveled, though. We want to grab the, uh, the split early on here if we can. Okay. Uh, you know what we could do is save damage, grab more crit chance, just so we can get the uh, the crit stuff as well. We want to boost up our DPS output here as uh, as much as we can. We want to be melting through everything as we go here. Here's the crit stuff. Let's take this one first. Okay, we could take some defensive stuff. Or maybe we just keep going. We we'll keep going on the damage output. I think we probably do want to take the kind because it will help scale some of our other stuff and defense as well. So, our uh, bulwark is great too. Why don't we just take it here? Doesn't hurt to build some defense as we go because we are going to need it later on. Things are going to get kind of crazy. The high torment levels, you know, they get. Uh, Get kind of wacky towards the end, especially uh, once you hit Torment, uh, Torment Five. Okay, we've got another uh, thing here. Let's take. What do we want to grab here next? We want to take the Ring Blades or Morning Star. We could actually we could go the uh, Astronomer's Orbs early here as an interesting choice because they can proc our uh, our explosions quite a bit. Okay, we don't mind taking regen and defense. Do we need more move speed or do we save it? Maybe we save some of our memory stuff for later too. Let's take that one. Okay. Do we take move speed? We could take move speed. It helps with the orb rotation uh, here too. So, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad. Oh, that's some damage coming at me there. But well, we're alright. I think maybe we do take some... Uh, oh, we've got uh, number two here. Do you want to keep using potions to boost up our main even more? What else do we really want to use them on? I mean... Let's take some more metabolism here. Let's try and keep ourselves topped off as much as, as we can. Uh, now we might take some max health at some point just so we have enough that we can take a few hits during the boss fights and stuff without without getting completely smushed, you know. Uh, ooh, okay. Took a few hits there. Multi-strike's nice here. Maybe we take the multi-strike first. Okay. Hey, we might take the vitality here. I think we'll do it just to uh, keep our health topped up a bit as we go on here. Now we might be able to get more procs on the bloodcatcher if we uh, if we don't, but we'll be alright. We will be okay here. Okay, astronomers orbs one. This is probably the one we want to take with the range of move speed here. And you don't have to go the orbs first here. You could just go any of the other physical stuff. Just take the pick your favorite one, really, I guess. Here's the ring blades. We'll take it. Got another tome up there, too, so we can be picky. But just go up and grab the uh, the morning star straight away. We got the uh, the range and uh, move speed again. Let's take it. If we can get to this to level three quickly here, too. Maybe we, uh, we've got another tome there, actually. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's get Morning Star going as well. Yeah, we did get Thick High, but we got the plus one orb. We gotta take it while it's on offer. We get an upgrade here. Additional uh orbit lane that spins in the that's the one we want. Excellent. Alright, now we might focus on our other abilities now though. I think we'll take this one so it's out of the pool now. There we go. Uh, do we want to keep using our potions or we save them? Our main weapon is going to be like pretty pretty strong if we keep doing this. I'm not opposed to. 
making our weapon main weapon very strong here oh we took a lot of damage right there where did that come from what did we get hit by that's all right we can regen it off here okay all right morning star multi-strike is not a bad choice here i think we want to get that leveled as well Okay, we also like to get the uh, the ring blades level crit chance. Do we want to go hard into the crit for that one though? Maybe we do. Let's take the weapon uh, damage here first. Okay, here's the crit. Oh, we took some hits there too. Okay, more metabolism. What do we want to take from this one? There's more crit chance available. Let's take uh, take our region here. Oh man, where did we take that hit from? <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to see where the uh, the damage comes from. Oh, hello. All right, let's uh, try and get these abilities to level three here now, if we can. Base attack speed is pretty good. Let's do that. Ouch, ran straight into him. Hey, our regen's not doing us too bad here, though. Excellent, so we're back to full. Okay, we've got a lot of scrolls here, so man, we just need the XP. Let's grab it. This is why I like the uh, extra pickup range, but I want to go for our abilities here. Can we get multi strike? Oh, base range would be really nice here, too. Maybe we pop a potion and go base range. That seems really fun. And then we can pick this up and go for... Unleashed first? Let's go Unleashed first for some fun here. Let's try and get everything else to level 3 here now, too. Ah, I may as well take that. Okay. Uh, okay, we really want attack speed, probably. I mean, damage is alright too, I guess. I'll just take damage. Try and get it to level 3 here. If we get the split. I like taking that one first. Just fighting them around here at the moment. Trying to level. Do we want to take more move speed? I think we don't have enough potions left to uh, do that. I think we can go the base crit here, though. That's all right. Let's hit one of these tomes. Okay, we took some damage doing it, but we got the split. All right, let's try and get our ring blades leveled here now, too. Okay, do we go hard into metabolism here, or do we take more damage? We haven't even gone crit bonus yet. Let's do that. Okay. We do want to get our proficient stance going, but it's not really giving me the best. We could just take uh, melee range here then, I guess. You know what? Doesn't hurt. Oh, we're doing pretty good here. I uh, wouldn't mind popping some more uh, max health at some point here. 700 is alright, don't get me wrong, but... Okay, ring blades. Crit would be ideal. We've got regen in defense. I think we take this one. Could take uh, even more regen down there too. Do we take some more regen? Let's go for the crit. Let's go for the big crits on it. 
Now we've got so many tomes. We could pick up more uh, abilities now too, but I want to level uh, these ones first. So they're nice and strong. I won't clog up the loot pool too much. Uh, quick chance and attack speed. You know what? Let's do that one. want to get our stances leveled so we can get the level 61 when it shows up. Maybe save a couple of potions for that. What do we got? We've got three left. Oh, here we got the crit. Yeah, we'll save our potions for later then, I guess, at this point. Uh, if we get some piercing winds to show up we, now, at this point, though, we might, because we've got some pretty good crit stuff going on here. Okay. Keeps giving me, uh, this one, huh? Let's take it. I'll just keep going on, uh, damage stats at this point. Okay, base damage and, uh, base crit bonus. You know what? We can just take this one. That's acceptable. We'll make the crits bigger, so, yeah. Hey, I like taking the Cyclone one first. Uh, we could take another ability now, I guess. Or we could just keep leveling these ones. What are we, 44? We could probably get them to level 60 pretty pretty easily. If we just keep going with the current plan. I think we will take health though, if it does show up again for us. Yeah, we'll take it. Keep ourselves topped off. Uh, I kind of like where we're sitting at the moment. I don't want to go... Too low and struggle against the bosses. And at this sort of torment level, the bosses just have been, they have so much health that we might end up having to sit there for, you know, who knows how long, really. Let's use the tincture down here. Now, not everything's critting because I don't think the explosions do crits but most of our uh most of our main stuff should be uh should be critting now what is uh let's have a look quickly oh, i was only 81 but the, the crit damage is crazy high there oh I'll keep going on the crit chance when it shows up speaking of which here we got crit we just take it straight away right let's take it straight away excellent Alright, Morning Star. Do we want this one now? Attack speed is not bad. Let's take it. We want the level 6 evolutions, and then we can just focus on as much crit and damage as, as we can, really. And we can boost our survivability a bit more, too, I guess, but I think DPS output is going to be number one thing. Where do we want to go here? We do want to take the stance at some point. We we'll probably want to go crit or a mm. force and range. I don't think we need range, do we? Let's take the uh, stance here. Alright, this has been a pretty cool run thus far. This build is uh, it's pretty consistent. I've uh, done a couple of runs with it now. I don't know if we... Do we want to go hard into the... I don't think we really want to. Let's go the attack speed here. Maybe we should have gone crit, though. But... Let's get this uh, to level 6 here. Okay, we've got Piercing Winds 2 as well. Let's, uh... Let's do it. Let's make our big crits. Kind of hard to tell with the damage numbers at the moment. They're all kind of overlapping. I don't know. It doesn't look like we're doing crazy high damage output here. But, I don't know. We're doing alright. Okay, multi-strike. What do we want uh, more there? We'll just take <laughs> just raw damage. Oh, we could, in fact, re-roll here for something more interesting. We could get rid of the surge. Sacred bonus. Let's 
Let's keep going here. Base multi strike. Crit chance? Let's take the crit chance. Well, it's an offer. That one seems to be a little rare. I don't know, but there's only two upgrades there, so. Uh, multi strike. What well, area is nice too? Let's go multi strike here. Okay, we're 54, so we're actually leveling uh, reasonably fast here. We've got more crit. I mean, it's hard to pass it up. We've got so many uh, scrolls and everything lying around here now. Okay. Uh, do we want to take this one again? I think we do. The base crit bonus is nice with all that crit chance. Uh, let's go... Yeah, let's go this one. Crippling. Now we can go on the orbs afterwards, or we can just pick up more uh, more abilities after we get these ones to level 6. Or we could just try and get them to these ones specifically to level 10 here as well. We could do that. Crit bonus or damage? What's better on the needles here? Uh, let's go with damage. Yeah, we're getting some graphical glitches going on here. I don't know what's happening. Okay. Base crit chance? I mean... I won't say no to that one. Okay, we go with... What do we want to do? Oh, we don't want to do magic damage. Not for this one. Let's take this. Okay, we've got more crit chance up here. Let's take that as well. How much can we scale up here? How much can we scale up as we go for the final boss? Ah, uh, we got the swords, uh, swordsman's proficient stance here. <clears throat> Do we want to take a negative crit chance for a base damage? It's kind of interesting. We kind of want the base. Do we want the base health? I don't know if we do. Hmm, interesting choice here. We could make ourselves really tanky if we take it. Do we use one of these? I think we do. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't know if it's the right play, but I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to take it. Well, it means we don't have to take it from the, any more level ups. Be a nice safe level here. We can just sort of chill in the middle of them now, anyway. Okay, we did pick up another thing. I guess we can, uh, we can go the, the golem. Since he is, um, physical, it's not going to be our priority, but... Now, the, there is the, uh, the dragon breath one, and we, we can turn into a physical attack, and we get some extra burn damage and stuff out of it, too, if we take it. Do we go orb move speed here? I feel like we do. Let's do that. Now, the other one we want is the level 71 that uh, shows up with attack speed for physical. Since uh, we're going to go all physical here with our, our uh, loadout. Our setup with our skills and everything. Uh, we should be alright just to sort of... Yeah, we're pretty, pretty alright just to sort of chill in the middle of them now anyway, but... Okay, we've got Golem crit chance. That could be alright. Let's start leveling him so he's not useless. He's not really my favourite one, but he is physical, so he will apply all these explosions for us. Okay, do we just take this now?
I'm gonna do it. I don't know if that's a mistake to go negative crit chance. Maybe it's a big mistake there, but we're gonna keep buffing our crit chance anyway, so. Okay, we'll walk 20 damage. Or do we do we go hard into metabolism and bulwark here? Or do we go you know what, let's roll for uh something more interesting. Let's go attack speed. Hard into the DPS stats here. We could also take the other ability now too. Maybe we do base damage. Maybe base multi-strike would be nicer. We can go area, you know, that doesn't hurt. We're getting some uh, interesting graphical glitches here that I haven't come across before. The screen's just going half half black every now and then. Very strange. Okay, attack speed is also not bad. We kind of like the range on that one, though. Hmm, do we just take attack speed? I think I'll just take a text speed. Maybe we don't need the range specifically now. Uh, we like butterfly, so we can take that one. Piercing wins three. I'm not going to use our last thing on it, but I will take it. Even bigger crits. Thank you. Oh, we accidentally got one of these. Uh, can we find our thing? No, we didn't even get it. All right. Bye. Uh, we could, uh, Oblivion this now, right? I don't think we, uh, we need the health anymore, do we? Do we want slow? Slow chance? I don't think we need it, do we? I'm gonna get rid of it. We're gonna reroll here. Attack speed? Let's take attack speed. We'll go for an excursion and grab the uh, the grab hand too. We've got seven minutes left, so we could. Uh, the one we want is B physical. So this one we have both melee and projectile here. I think, don't we? Let's double check. Yeah, yeah, we do. We've got a combo. So uh, this is the one. Yeah. So we take this one. Just gotta make sure I get the correct one there. Don't mess it up. Gonna take the Dragon's Breath. We'll try and get this to level 3 quickly so it can become physical as well. One of the upgrades will allow it to be a physical attack here. Mossy Strike an area. Burn Chance is also not bad. But let's do that. Uh, we don't have anything to put up because we can't send these up. We can get rid of them though, so we can potentially get something else from a chest. Ah, uh, yep, let's do it. So we get some extra burn damage here now too, which is nice. Ah, uh, whoops! I ran into that again. Uh, that again. That's my bad. Let's continue here anyway. We're doing pretty good. Uh, I don't think we want to go base damage, do we? For attack speed? Let's go the orbs. Oh no, well, we kind of want this thing at level 3 though. Let's just take it. Okay, we go... Physical attack down here. Alright. Uh, okay, well, there was a, uh, a scroll right there too. Farm up this gold while we're here too. I mean, we may as well. Okay, here's the attack speed physical. Excellent. Because we're not uh, using any magic stuff right now, we're going to double this. This is an additional 60% right here, so this is going to be pretty good. It's going to be pretty good for what we're doing. Let's try and get these orbs to 60 now too. What are we at? 74. We still can level more. Maybe we grab the grab hand, or do we hold off and then do it towards the end more? 
Okay. Do we just uh, turn dam <laughs> damage numbers off? So we get better performance or what? Which is an interesting thing you can do. Let's uh, upgrade this guy too, maybe. Um, is he a waste if we do? More crit chance there would be nice too. Let's level him up, get him to three so he can do something more useful for us. Oh yeah, it's kind of struggling now. Let's uh, turn these off for now. Alright. Let's make the gameplay a little smoother. Okay, force. Multi-strike is pretty good. Or we could get him to level 3 right here. Let's do that. I've right, got a scroll just here. Let's see. Shockwaves. Melee attacks. He'll fire damage. Have a chance to inflict burn. Let's do that. Does that change him to a fire attack? Uh, not physical? Because we don't, we don't really want to do that then, right? Not actually sure 100% on that. Hmm. Multi strike? Yeah. All right. Damage, attack speed. What do we even want to take here now? Just attack speed on this thing's alright. Make it stronger to get it to six. Get it doing something better for us to just sit in the middle farming the uh, XP like this or what? We're basically invincible now, don't we're taking big damage and we're basically invincible. That's interesting. I think during the bosses, though, we might have to dodge around a bit more because there won't be as many enemies to damage. Okay, what do we want here the most? Let's go multi-strike an area. Maybe the other one would have been better there, but... Leveling kind of slowly. Maybe we go up towards the grab hand now. I don't know. Start boosting our levels even more. We got to level 80 here. Nice. Okay, we did get uh, more range. Some of the other stuff might be better. I don't know. But let's get it to 6 so we can grab a boost for it. What do we want to do here? Concentrated streams of fire? That might be better for the bosses, actually. I'm not sure how that works with the uh, explosion interaction from our ring, but you know. Okay, we've got a grab hand just uh, local over here. How kind. Alright, how many levels can we get? Alright. Crit bonus? Crit chance? Let's go crit chance down here. Uh, we never really ended up taking much in the way of defense there, did we? Uh, attack speed is pretty nice. Let's do that one. Uh, our orbs are still only level, of, what, four or five or something? Let's try and get them upgraded to... I've only got a couple of levels out of it anyway. It looks like we're collecting most of the XP as we go here. Oh, we got the oh. orbs. What do we want from here? Crit chance? We like crit chance, don't we? Yes, we do. One more level. And then we can get uh, that one to six as well. Okay, damage. What do we want to take here? More crit chance? Yes. 
Yeah, at this point in the run, things get kind of crazy. But, hey, it allows us to level, so, you know. Uh, I really like the extra orb here, if we can get it. Base damage. I don't know if it's worth spending a uh, thing there. We can reroll, though. Can make them a little smaller here with more crit and stuff. You know what? I'm not opposed to doing that. Alright, do we have a, um, a thing nearby? Roll duration area. Man, damage would probably be nicer here. Spend another roll. Getting all this stuff. Uh, this area effect. I don't know if we want burn so much, do we? Guess we could take it. Uh, we are burning stuff, so I, I guess we can take it. Uh, okay, so we do have some scrolls down here. Let's go. Do we make them even smaller to try and get them to hit the bosses now too? It's probably a good idea. It's good to have them big during the run, but for the boss fight, it may be more advantageous to have them a little bit smaller. I'm going to go to the lightning ones. This orbital shift is... Uh, I like to have them consistent. Alright, we've got two in a bit minutes. I don't think it's really worth going to the grab hand. we got most of the XP lying around anyway. Okay. Do we boost for the boss? I guess we do. Get some more XP down here. Guess we could try and get our level uh, 6 going on the um, golem do too, but I'm just, you know. Try, it's just trying to take the best level ups per, per level that we can. Attack speed is nice. I don't mind attack speed here. Let's go. Okay. I feel like we're pretty safe. Maybe we didn't need to take the extra health, but you know. I'm gonna go the ring blades here. Just trying to get as much value out of our level ups at the end here as we can. Ah, uh, it's 400 odd meters away. Is it worth trekking over there? Level 90? It's not bad. A minute 40 left. Maybe we just uh, farm up the XP. Or oh, maybe it makes more sense to go over there towards the end here then, actually. Now that I think about it, shouldn't take us more than a minute to get over there, surely. Then we can just collect everything. Well, if you made it this far into the video, smash like and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to another one. Also, Torment's been awesome in 1.0. It's been really fun. It's been really cool to get some different builds going here too. Now that I've uh, finally got some more of the items, I uh, end up doing a big item farm yesterday because, man, I, just my RNG was so bad that I just, there were still some quite strong pieces that I, that I was missing. There are still a couple, to be honest, that I am still missing, but, you know, it happens. Got a super bad RNG, and the, it doesn't feel like there's any real dupe protection or anything in this game, which is fine, it is what it is, but... Okay, base multi-strike. Crit bonus. Let's just go crit bonus. I have 30 seconds left. How much more can we level? What are we? 92. How many more levels can we get here? Base damage. Let's uh, do this. Take advantage of the fact that we don't have uh, many more levels left. 
20 seconds. Go, 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 go. Oh, man. Attack speed as well. It's going to be sting damage. 14 seconds. Can we get another level here? See how quickly we can kill the bosses. They have a lot of health at this torment level. And I mean a lot of health there. Also, I think we might be missing a weapon proficiency trait uh, on this character. I think he has a quest I haven't finished. Oh, no, we're killing him pretty quickly. Look at this. Take mega DPS. Uh, get out of here. All right. All right. Is this guy shielded or does he just have a ton of health? Wow, he looks like he has a ton of health. We melted one of them. I mean, we'll take that. We are still leveling a little bit. More strength. Now let's take it. Oh, hey. None of that spam, please. Man, we're at Torment 22 and he only drops three shards? That nah, kind of sucks. Oh man, this uh, might be a slow battle. Look at his health bar. We concentrate on this dude first. Try and get rid of him. Well, the first guy died very quickly, but as you can see, the uh, second and third bosses that spawn in here are yeah, kind of rough. Huh? Yeah, we, I mean, we could just technically end it here, but, you know, we may as well kill him and uh, take the torment shards, but as you can see, it's a little slow. Let's go over here and do this so we can see what's going on. Yeah, we're just not doing much uh, DPS output here. I, th I mean, we scaled up our damage so high, didn't we? Like, what, what's going on? I don't know. Max DPS is like 100,000, 200,000 on some of the abilities. Oh, no, we got to keep moving. Uh, do we want to finish it here? Do we just finish the, the video here? Otherwise, I'm just going to be running around in a circle for the next five minutes. Fight him around. Yes. Into the magma. Magma. What's your favorite uh, Gen 1 Pokemon? Let me know. Oh, alright, we did it. Woo! Alright, we finally got to the end. How long did that actually take? Survival time, it only says 20 minutes. But... Oh, man. That was an interesting run. 1.2 bill, so not the highest damage output, but certainly not the lowest. Um, Alright, so the the uh, band doing 185 mil. Weapon, 137. 210. Morning Star, 405. That was our highest CPS in the end. Oh, interesting. There you go. Alright guys, round two. If you enjoyed the video, smash like and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to another one. Hope you have a great day. Take it easy, enjoy, and have a good one.